Yo, what's going on? YouTube is Heaven Flow here, bringing you another video. But today we are not playing ranked joust. We're just going to talk about the Season of Souls 10.6 update notes. And I basically just want to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on what this means for joust. Um, specifically um not that we don't play conquest but right now conquest just isn't fun to me so i have not played it i do keep up on the spl uh, pro league but um I'm, i just don't want to give my opinion on something i'm not currently actively playing because it's more relevant than my personal opinion on joust so without um any further ado man let's just dive right into it i think that it all better all right guys here we are we did the intro already we don't need to do that anymore so we're just gonna get right into it man and uh basically cover everything that like i said we're not gonna do skins or we're not gonna do quality of life or anything conquest we're we are basically focusing on ranked joust or just casuals i guess if you don't play ranked but you just want to get better um we're gonna be looking at, at gods we're gonna be looking at items we're gonna be looking at buffs and nerfs of both and uh yeah so we're gonna skip through all this and start with Relic Dagger. I will not be reading over all of these. I'm just going to give my opinions on what I think is really, really uh, important. Like what affects it the most, what impacts Joust the most. Um, <clears throat> and like key points of ranked and, and you know, just all the meat and potatoes and stuff. So as if you guys didn't know, tanks are just better. Tanks have been hit pretty hard recently over the last few patches. Um, we're just at a point right now in the game where ADCs and well, ADCs are just ridiculous right now, but mages and ADCs just destroy tanks. Uh, tanks can't do their job. Um, again, let me just keep repeating myself throughout this entire video so nobody gets confused and you know you fast forward and maybe you missed what I said earlier. But uh, I'm just focusing on joust, man. So everybody knows right that tanks have just ran joust for a long time. They've been, you know, the compositions were always two tanks, one one ADC, two tanks, one mage, uh, one carry basically, one damage dealer, and it's sort of shifted with the last patch. It's now that tanks are a little bit worse. Uh, and hunters are ridiculous right now. Uh, it's been more traditional where you pick one mage, one hunter, one guardian, one mage, one hunter, one warrior, depending on which type of warrior it is. Can he can he solo? Can he solo tank? Um, he or she. And I think this new patch, I'm pretty sure we're going to be back into the meta where it's going to be two two tanks and a and a carry, man. I really do think that. So let's just keep let's stay down here while I cover this, so I don't lose you guys. Um, with tanks becoming significantly better and and across the board damage is coming down, I do think that we're back into the tank meta just because they're going to be a little bit harder to kill. They're going to be doing a little bit of damage too now. Um, right now, if you do play Joust at a high level, you know that picking up a damage item on your tank is not crazy. It's kind of what you're supposed to do, depending on who you are. Obviously, it's all it's all subjective. But uh, yeah, man. So I do think we're gonna see. I see. I think we're gonna see the double tank meta come back. Um, and Joust tanks are basically there for CC, not really soaking damage like they are in Conquest, not being a front line. They're basically there to provide crowd control, so you can mega burst whatever god that you are going on and uh yeah man so the daggers i don't think don't think are a big deal there's some good glyphs coming decent i mean which blade's coming back which is awesome you know which blade effect is going to be on the upgraded relic dagger but i don't think people are going to be building that very much i think what we need to really look at is these are pretty good we'll we'll, we'll, we'll talk about these real quick i mean the flame forge hammer rune breaking hammer is really what i want to highlight here so for Horus, Horus is a pretty high-ranked warrior in Joust. Um, he has been for a while. He just performs really well because he has a lot of crowd control. This is going to be pretty nasty on him, so I do want to take the time to just get that out there. Um, next successful hard CC on enemy guy creates a 30-unit shockwave around them. Enemies hit by that shockwave deal 10% less damage and take 10% more damage for 3 seconds. This passive already, I think this is actually it right here so hit a hard cc no okay it's not so rune forge hammer already you hit cc you do 10 percent more damage to that person now that you're going to be taking 10 percent more so 20 percent increased damage and for gods like horus that's pretty nasty that's pretty nasty now will we be 
will we be building Room Breaking Hammer on Horus when there's Glorious Pridwin and there's Reverend Pridwin? Um, I don't know because these are disgusting. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the number one built glyph on all tanks. Uh, give or take a few. Obviously, I think, like I said, Horus might do very well with uh, Rune Breaking Hammer. Just because you got to think about it. He stuns you. He knocks you up. You're locked in place for, for much longer than three seconds, I would, I would assume. I'm not exactly sure what the numbers are uh, on his. Let's find out, actually. Just to give you guys a little bit of a an idea of what I'm talking about. So let's find Horus. So... I think it's just three right now it's just it's just one one and two so it's two he dashes in a short distance hits a god he stops and stuns for 1.25 and then he knocks you up so i would say about two seconds at the minimum you're going to be locked in place and uh that rune forged upgrade rune breaking hammer you're going to be easily taking 20% increased damage by everybody. It's just, that's going to be nasty. So look out for Horus with this. Um, these, man, I don't even, we don't need to talk about this. This is going to be the key, key points in every YouTuber you watch right now. Every streamer you watch right now is talking about these Pridwin glyphs. These are disgusting, dude. These are absolutely disgusting. Um, we are going to be... We're going to be seeing a lot of these so just keep in mind if you're not building this what are you building pridwin is going to become staple i can see thebes straight into pridwin whether reverend glorious is a little bit more damage dealy reverend also does damage it's more of a defense like you get a bigger shield those are going to be gross man those are going to be gross um a lot of this is just the damage decrease so not a lot of whole not a lot of points I want to cover on the damage. I do have some key points though. I just want to make a few key points that uh, like penetration. Penetration is coming back um, as far as like the max being 32%. So we're going to be seeing 10% um, on items now. So they, they reverted all that. For instance, uh, let's go with which one of these? Which one of these is a percent item? So Karans. I'm pretty sure Karans are. Sharon or whatever you probably pronounce that we'll find out when he gets released um, This used to do 10% Penetration it now does 8 and you get 8 8 16 for a total of 32 We're reverting back towards 10 10 20 for a total of 40% so penetration is going to be a lot better now um, So to me like God's here's where my bias comes in God's like Giannis will be doing Pretty good in the meta i feel like just at least better i won't say pretty good i'll just say better in the meta they'll move up because Giannis has the built-in penetration and now you also get the penetration from items back it's the way it used to be so you'll be hitting those tanks a lot harder because tanks are obviously the key points in, the, in this entire patch right here how are tanks going to perform they're going to be crazy because their items are not really going down too much the protections and the health are not really decreasing too much as much as like power from items it's gonna go down. Let's take a look at Do More. Like Do More, man. Uh, where was that at? I thought that was a little higher. So we haven't covered yet. Do More. Look at this, man. 130 to 90. So power significantly coming down. Which, while we're on the topic, Scylla. Gotta think about Scylla, guys. Second, I'm gonna put my controller down. Scylla is going to be in a good spot, I think. That's my opinion. Um, Scylla gets. 25 power per ability she maxes out that doesn't make sense over here i'll show it to you each one of Scylla's abilities gain an additional effect at a max rank in addition Scylla gains 25 magic power for each max rank ability meaning you max out your one you max out your two you max out your three you max out your four that's a hundred power guys and right now in a spot where power is being just reduced all across the board the fact that Scylla has 100 extra power that she can just get for free, which in Joust, you're probably not going to see the 100. You might see like 50 to 75, um, but that's crazy, man. Like you max out your two and your one, and you have instantly 50 power online that you just normally wouldn't have and nobody else is going to have access to. So we got to keep that in mind. Scylla's probably going to move up a couple spots, so that's that's pretty, that's pretty crazy. Um talked about penetration so minions i'm not sure what minions are getting 
buffed or anything. I haven't seen anything on here about minions, but if we're getting reduced power, that means that wave clear is going to drop. Meaning like it's gonna take more abilities probably to clear the wave fully. So you're gonna be clearing the wave fully later on in the game because you're not gonna have as much power as you used to early on in the game. So I think for instance, Giannis needed Chronos Pendant. I think that's it. Once you finish Chronos Pendant first, you can instantly clear the back line, the, the archers. Don't know if you're gonna be able to do that anymore, man. So wave clear is gonna be prioritized even more um, than normal. Wave clear for sure is gonna be huge prioritized. So picking a guardian with a good wave clear is gonna be is gonna be big. Atlas got pretty good wave clear, so he's probably gonna be used a lot more. He's significantly better. We're not even gonna to get to the we'll get we'll get to the the nerfs and the buffs later on the gods, but I kind of just want to focus on items right now. Um, base damage, base damage is probably gonna be pretty crazy. Gods like uh, the warriors, the warriors that start off with, with good base damage, man. And, uh, don't need to build items really anymore to do to do damage to the squishies anymore man like let's for instance tier you would want to throw like a jotun's wrath on tier or brawlers or something i don't think you need it i think you can build more utility now uh more of the um the pridwins the uh the uh what's it called what's it called um 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 um, um relic daggers you can build relic daggers is more utility basically man and get more out of your tier now and also do good damage because base damage is crazy and these items aren't giving too much more power anyway so you're just gonna base damage is gonna get get good i think man so um be on the lookout for that that's another key point i want to make am i gonna be wrong i don't know um maybe i'm just completely off and warriors are still going to be pretty shitty because right now warriors aren't in a good spot anyways um give or take a few of them your horuses your hercules obviously so we will see um again i think the meta is going to shift i think we're going to be back to two tanks i think you're going to go back to your guardian your warrior and then your mage and or your hunter probably hunter because i think mages are going to suffer the worst from this um I've, I've been hearing a little bit rumblings of Mage is being the worst in the game right now, so it's probably going to be Hunter, Warrior, Guardian. That's probably what we're going to see. <clears throat> um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Kronos, another one. Another god I want to highlight, man. Um, auto attack items are decent now. In a better spot than, like, ability-based mage items. So, gods like Kronos, who gets power increase over time gonna be pretty nasty now in a game mode like joust who which usually ends around like the 15 to 20 minute mark somewhere in between sometimes earlier depending on snowball effect um you might not see too many chronos but it's just a point to, to get into what exactly let me go take a peek at his we'll take a peek at chronos's power i don't remember exactly what the numbers are on it so before i start just blurting shit out um Every 1.5 minutes he gains a stack that decreases his power, stacks up to 25 times in a permanent. So he gets five power per minute and a half. So what is that? You're talking uh, three, six, nine minutes into the game. He's got 20 extra power. So, I mean, that's not bad, man. That's really not bad. So Kronos already a good god. Um, he kind of fell off the patch when they, did, when they made the, um, the, the um, what am I thinking of, man? I'm going blank. The map when the map shifted oops sorry. when the map shifted and chronos you know he kind of fell off a little bit auto attack may just kind of took a hit but i think he's going to be back a little bit so we'll see about we'll see about chronos too um so big and atlas too man they're going to be insane bro insane so what else we got here crit crit is just dookie now man don't even build crit we don't you didn't see much crit and joust anyways because it's just you know, after they buffed uh, Spectral, Spectral just and then Spectral's not even like getting any worse in this in this one. Let's go take a look at that real quick. This is in ABC order, isn't it? So yeah, Spectral should be coming up right here. Jeez, so many items. <laughs> Did I miss it? Spectral armor. Yeah. So not really going down too much. Only losing 10 prots and on 50 health. Um, passive power from the items, you should get a little bit less power when you get crit, but still, man, like, Deathbringer getting hit, Rage is just shit now, man. 
like we covered oh, rage 55 to 45 on a decreased physical power overall from 35 to 30 the stacks are changing they they you only need you need five stacks now but get two now instead of 2.5 so you actually lose crit like oh, i don't know five to three so like you're actually losing power too on that man like book of the thought is just dead so a lot of power decrease man like, it's just kind of wild it's going to take a little bit to get used to just looking at everything but i think we'll be in a better spot overall just because um time to kill is kind of crazy time to kill is wild right now like uh i'm making this video on monday at uh 6 p.m so as of right now 10.6 is not in effect it goes in effect tomorrow but but time to kill is crazy man you basically cc somebody and they're dead um, so we'll see how that how that changes, but crit is going to be trash. Uh, crit scales off power if you didn't know. So your hunter losing probably I don't know what 75 to 100 power per build. Probably not that much. It's more of a mage. I don't know. I would say 50 to 75 power you're losing from builds now, just because the items are all getting nerfed. Um, you're probably gonna see no crit. Crit's just I don't want to say dead. Like Book of Thought is dead, but. Seeing Deathbringer get brought down from 40 to 30, seeing, you know, Demon Blade attack speed nerfed, Rage nerfed, you're not going to see crit. Crit's just going to be, it's going to go away. Um, one shot is just pretty much not happening anymore. From what I'm hearing and seeing just by watching YouTubers and streamers, um, Sob is pretty crazy. Like, Emp's armor is still going to be ridiculously good. Those gods that can take advantage of pulling you into tower, like Hercules, Sobek, Atlas, they're all going to be significantly better. And uh, they're already good. That's the problem. They're already really good. So, um, I don't know. It's going to be weird, man. As a mage player, um, I'm a mage and a warrior player. I don't think you're going to be playing much much mages, man. Tehuti's like a must buy now because just the 100 power is a lot, which takes me back to what I said about Scylla. It's the fact that Scylla gets 100 power for free if you ever make it to level 20 on Scylla. Like 140 to 100. Oh, man, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take some time to get used to, but get used to seeing 50 power is a lot on hunters and, and warriors and assassins and... What's Bloodforge got? Bloodforge got hit pretty hard, huh? Oops, a little too far. 75 to 50. So yeah, see, 50 power on physicals is gonna be a lot, man. It's gonna be a lot. And 100 power is ridiculous on mages now, so. Yikes, man. We'll see what happens, though. We'll see what happens. I, I honestly think I'm gonna like it. I think I'm gonna like it a lot more. Um, Serrated. Serrated is another one crazy stats on this item so the fact that it only loses 10 power in a meta now where there's power reduced across the board serrated it's going to be good and it's good now but i think it's going to be better i think serrated it's going to be crazy um shadow drinker didn't really build this too much anyways there's a few gods you would build it on but you know vamana every once in a while i would pick it up i'd see never really built it myself soul eater uh, didn't really have too much you good just for the stats the lifesteal anyways like marty chorus and armatikaras scotty I built this on some kind of ability based hunters uh, not so much as Chiron because he has the passive to heal but you get the point soul gem I still think it's gonna be a good item though I think it's gonna be a must buy I think you're gonna be going into traditional like power pen builds for, for mages like no more like the doom orbs even though that is percent pen but like I'm talking like just straight up pen items it's what's gonna be built now you're not gonna see too many of just damage utility items on mages anymore because it's so important now to get power like this is nuts Sob, Sob, I think, rose to the top of the physical physical defense items, man. Like, I think you usually go, like, Prophetic and or Thebes, and you pick up, like, Emp's armor. But I think this is better now than Berserkers, as far as, like, physical protections. Um, sorry, I keep going up and down, but I want to go check out Berserkers real quick. Like, Glad Shield, 50 to 40, and 150 health. Uh, Berserkers is 60 to 50. And 150 to 100. So Sav, yeah, I think Sav has more physical protections now overall than both of those items. I think it's a better pickup than both of those. I passed it. Um, because the aura, you also get aura. So you're getting 35 plus the aura. I think it's what is it, 20? Let's go take a look. I guess we could just do this, huh? Where is there it is? Guys? 
So you 25. I don't know if they're taking that down. They're not taking that down. That's crazy. Oh, it's HP5. Okay, I was like, wow, bro. I didn't read all the way through. I just saw a number. So 15. So 15 is not terrible. Um, 15 is manageable. That means you're going to be getting 60. So my math off, 50. So good health though too. More health. Deso brought down from 100 to 70, man. That's insane. So all right, I don't want to spend too much time in this video, man. So I think I made all the key points really that I wanted to. So let's go down to the gods real quick and just talk about some of the insanity that is going to be having because they buffed gods for conquest because conquest is all that matters, right? So Joust kind of gets fucked. Uh, binding, another one. Actually, I didn't even talk about binding, dude. Let's go. Let's go look at binding right now. Look at binding, dude. So five protections on each side, 50 health, and they reduced this. So like 20 and 0.8 times. So you're getting like 20 protections, passive protections, reduction. So penetration. I think it's gonna be pretty core on. I think it's gonna be pretty core on your on your tanks, man. I see builds going like Thebes or Prophetic into Pridwin and then probably like a Binding, dude, and then a damage item or a damage item then Binding. Chronos Pennant's still pretty strong on Guardians, so this will probably be picked up quite a bit on like a Horus. Like a Horus now with a Runeforge and a Binding, dude, that's a lot of pen in a Horus build, dude. You pick up that, that Runeforge um, glyph and then pick up Binding on top of that. Sheesh. We're gonna be doing some things with some tanks, man. I think I think I'm gonna play a lot more tanks, uh, warriors, because I do love warriors. I'm a ma I'm a mage main, but I do play warriors second, if not the exact same amount. Um, all right, let's get into god buffs and nerfs, dude, and then we will wrap this video up. We've been going for 21 minutes already. I wanted to keep it to about less than 30, around 25 minute mark. Guy, they're still trying to bring this back. Let's not get too focused. This is kind of crazy too. This item, Talisman. <sighs> I think it's gonna be fun though, man. I keep like sighing, but I think it's gonna be fun. So let's get into gods. Afro, they're bringing down again. Hachi, this was not enough. Hachi's still going to be disgusting. 5% on the scaling, not enough. And the base damage that you're getting from this, not enough. He gets 25% attack speed, I think, just by landing auto attacks, man. Which means you can get away with building things like Blood Forge. They give high power, because you don't need the attack speed like most people do. Most uh, hunters do. Insane. Tyr getting brought down just a little bit. Not crazy. This was a pretty big nerf. Uh, I still think we're going to... This is exactly what I think he needed. Like, don't touch the protections. Don't touch the, the damage done. I think he needed just the cooldown redu redu uh, reduced i can't talk man um so this is pretty big two seconds is crazy so we'll probably still going to see a lot more of amana or a lot of amana but i don't think as much i don't think he's going to stand out among the warriors now well like i said we'll keep a lookout though um movement speed not bad this is insane man <laughs> That's insane. I like, like, like I said, man. Conquest is the only game mode that matters, so they're they're touching these gods on a, on account of conquest. The fact that he gets five percent increase on the execute is crazy in a tank meta too. So a lot of your tanks, man, get this god out of your game. He's the best god in the game, as far as joust. I will go on record saying that Achilles is the best god in the game when it comes to joust. Get him out of your game. If you're not banning him, you need to first pick him. I don't care if you cannot play him. He's just disgusting. Um, base attacks be going up on on her. On her, not the best hunter right now. He's not as good as your Ho Yi's, your Ishtar's, your Hachi's, but that'll help a little bit. Increasing the slow help a little bit. Any kind of um, mobility or crowd control change is, is just good. You know, a Mez on Apollo. Still not going to see Apollo probably, but that's a good start. Um, Artemis, you might see a little bit more Artemis in your games. Artemis is a decent hunter. But again, your Hachis, your Ishtars, your Ho Yis, even Charybdis, man. Like, who's got just the safety that they have and, and the damage that they can do. This is another big one, man. 
this is another big one. Two seconds decreased on Bacchus's burp. Yikes. Um, that's I'm a Bastet player, so I like this. People are going to be very annoyed, but I like this. That's a big one, too. Uh, that's one of the ones I wanted to highlight. The Chiron buff as well. Increasing that duration, uh, uh, or the uh, yeah, increasing the duration of CC immunity, big. Half a second is is a lot more than than 0.3. It doesn't look like much. It's a lot. Cleo can go in walls faster and stay in walls more. That's basically what this means. Don't see a lot of Cleo in your games, anyways. Uh, stun on the on the um, alt. Not bad. Discordia, I think this is her two, or Strife. That's pretty good. Discordia is a higher higher uh, play mage. She's uh, I, would, I wouldn't say she's S tier, but she's probably around A, A+. Plus. Discordia pretty good in Joust, um, just because the crowd control that she brings, the safety that she brings from her two. She can two into the, the mana buff if she wants to over the wall, so she can play safe. She has CC immune alt, so Discordia is probably going to be played, picked up a little bit more. Erlong, just probably the worst guy in the game, right? Don't think this is going to do anything to him. Bring back the knockup. I'm not playing this guy anymore. Um, e set increase magical power scaling. That's pretty good. Um, I like to play her as a tank. Um, I'll probably be playing a lot of E set tank and providing the stuns with, like I said, with the with the changes that they're doing to Pridwin, the changes they're doing to the, the hammer, the changes that they're doing to um, 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 what's the other one we just saw? Binding. Binding's good on on E set. Going to be seeing a lot more E set probably in my games at least. Fafnir. This is wild. This is wild. 20 seconds on his alt increased. An entire minute you can be in your dragon form at final. You're probably not going to make it there, but 50. This used to be max rank. 40 seconds was max rank. You're now three points into your alt. You're alting for 40 seconds. Fafnir, not the best guardian. Probably don't pick him very much. Um, I won't see him very much in your games, but you might. You might. That's pretty scary. A Fafnir with Emperor's Armor now, sieging your tower. That's that's tough, especially with the, with hunters in the meta. You can see a Fafnir with two hunters, decent comp, decent comp, man. Um, increased shield duration, that's huge. Gab is going to definitely make a step up. Five seconds on that shield, that's going to be huge. Cataclysm also doing more damage. You're going to get increased base damage from the Cataclysm. That's his alt. This is nasty because Hoi is an S tier hunter. Increased base damage. You're going to see even more Hoi if you don't already see him in every game that you have played right now um, I think this is her alt I don't really see much of her anyways biased on this one because I love Giannis I think this is just a revert anyways because the uh, the tank meta is coming and penetration is being reverted um, cuckoo just not a good god because his items are, are shit book of thought is shit tablet got nerfed the mana build is just not good so cuckoo is just not in a good spot right now this is nice you can just use your escape a lot faster a lot sooner but fuck you're not gonna see him crazy 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 five percent increased damage reflected and also ten percent mitigations that's nuts ban this god too kuzumbo is one of my i'm not gonna say he's the best guardian in the game mode i would give that to atlas but kuzumbo is right there man right there so um non conquest buffs have been removed from him. That's good. I don't play this god. I'm skipping. Sorry. I don't play this god. I'm skipping. Sorry. If you want to see the Loki and the Lancelot buffs, go go check for yourself. Um, she gets more increase. That's crazy. 20% scaling on attack speed. When you pop her one, increase base attack, dam base attack damage. That's nasty. Medusa's, Medusa's good. Not your S tier, but she's, she's right there. Tip of the spear. Um, I like this. I like the cooldown decrease on Mulan. I do like playing Mulan. Um, tanks coming back, I'm probably playing a lot more Mulan. Uh, Poseidon, an attack speed build might be good on him now because auto attack items are better and ability mage items are getting worse. So the fact that he gets attack speed now when he pops his two, that's really good, guys. Keep an eye out for Poseidon. Poseidon might make a comeback here. We will see, but I'm predicting that Poseidon is significantly better significantly better he moves up a couple spots um Ra, decent decent buff increase the prots increase the power increase the, the physical magical power on his heel rising you're just not gonna see him he's just not good man he gets interrupted too too easily in his dash he's too easy to catch out his alt he just gets to sit in one spot sure you can fear sure you can taunt good damage but it's just he needs some help 
his dash needs to be reduced in the time it takes to start and finish your dash. Um, Robin, increase health shield. That's pretty nasty. A tank Robin might, you might see tank Robin come just to provide a little bit of crowd control because he's hard to kill. He doesn't do enough damage that, to make him good. But he's tough to kill. Uh, decrease the cooldown also from his, his uh, 10 hand shadow fist. That's his, that's his crowd control. Set is going to be disgusting. If you play set, play him more. Decreasing that cooldown. This used to be like, look at this. It's now 11 at all ranks. That's going to do Jotun's Wrath and Hydra's. <sighs> set, set, set. We're going to see more of him. If you play him, man, you are probably loving that. Um, Shiva, we're not going to see much of him probably. He's decent. Actually, he'll come back. Shiva's a pretty trash tank when he's solo tank. So you saw him fall off with this latest patch, but he'll come back, I think, now. Now the fact that you can queue him in with a Guardian because Guardians are good again. And then a Hunter. I think you'll see a lot more Shiva come back, man. So this is this is good scotty just trash i love this guy but just trash right now man uh so this helps a lot that you can do more damage but she's just not a good she's not a good hunter in joust this makes me want to cry this makes me want to fucking cry i i don't even know like you're gonna be plucking way more often two seconds earlier now build cooldowns on top of that chronos pendant you're gonna be ah <sighs> <sighs> dude I want to cry. I like this. I'm a Wukong player. I, I play him in Joust even though he's trash. So I like this. Suki, increase the slow. Not very big, not very good anyways in Joust. Um, decent. Uller is just... I haven't seen much Uller. So we'll skip over that. Um, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to get into there, man. Uh, my key takeaways is that Hunter's... Hunters are probably going to, you're going to see more of them. You're going to see a rise in the Hachi. You're going to see a rise in the ho the the Medusas, the Cupids, and the Charybdis. Um, you're going to see, and the safety gods, safety hunters that can provide decent damage, decent crowd control, and uh, have a dash. They can get away. You're going to see more of them. Mages might fall off. Um, again, these are my opinions. I'm just, this is my takeaways. I'm probably going to be wrong. Probably going to be right. Probably going to be a mixture of both. Um... These are just my takeaways from this this entire this entire update as a whole. Um, two tank mage meta is probably coming. Two tank hunter meta is coming. It's coming back. Uh, crit's dead. Penetration, penetration, penetration. Boys and girls, build that shit. Scylla is going to be absolutely insane. Um, we still playing Hachi. <laughs> we still playing Hachi. We still playing Hachi. That nerf wasn't shit. Um, an Achilles execute buff. What are we doing, man? Let, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. Um, I'm gonna love. I'm gonna love this. I think. I think. I think we're gonna be having fun in Joust. Not that I'm having not having fun now, but I think this is gonna be even more fun. So uh, let me know in the comments, guys. Leave a like. Leave a comment. So don't forget to subscribe, and uh, I will catch y'all in the next video. I could take you to the other side. Yeah.